On top from Dallas, it's solid. Jawan on the AFC. Season average seven. Uh, what did he have last night? Three points. Uh, two or three last night. Four rebounds, three assists, couple of steals. Jawan had double figures four times. Led scoring and high scoring at Lake Creek in the same team. Uh, that again, double play. He had 16 that night. Uh, one rebound, four assists, and two uh, steals. We got Michael Cho, uh, guard, 6'3", from Melbourne, Australia, averaging 11, had 12 last night. Uh, nine rebounds, two steals, and two assists. Riley Spoonhunter will see the action tonight from Browning. He's averaging 10 on the season, had three rebounds. Riley Spoonhunter from Browning, Montana. Then we got Kennedy Brown, nice game uh, last night. Had five rebounds. Kennedy Brown, a freshman guard from Chicago. Cordell Stinson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the men's contest. Please help me welcome. We will uh, pick up the stats here. Carson Hinesgar. Number three, Bijan Newber. Number 21, Brody Kressel. Number 33, Ben Hoverson. And number 34, Boyle Bo Feldman, and coach Mr. Jared Marshall. Lake Region. Rich Roll will start the music. And here comes the Dawson starter. Everybody's on their feet. Should be a good ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, your DCC Buccaneers. Wearing number one from Big Timber, Montana, Kel Schwerer. From Aurora, Colorado, number three, Hezekiah Swanson. From Browning, Montana, number 24, Riley Spoonhunter. From Reno, Nevada, number 30, Cordell Stinson. Roanoke, Texas, number 42, Charlie Lampton. Oh, little Charlie Lampton, the fifth starter for Dawson. And uh, Dawson's in their black uniform. Lake Region will wear the old whites uh, this game. The, uh, others, the other player for Dawson, Cordell Stinson, one of the starters from Reno, Nevada. He'll get the start. Cordell, five points, five rebounds last night. And then uh, Charles Lampton, our center, 6'11", sophomore, player of the uh, week uh, earlier this month. Double-double uh, at 37 points in a couple of games, three assists, four steals, eight blocks. Charles from Roanick, Texas. He's averaging nine, had 15 last night, 14 rebounds, two steals, in three of the four blocks. And uh, we go to center court, uh, Lone Bear, from Dotson will also play as will Isaiah Bouchard from Billings. So there you have it. The uh, white uniform, kind of different. Don't see the uh, blacks too much, but the uh, white uniforms worn tonight by the Royals. Hopefully they didn't uh, change the number. This could get real interesting. They didn't. Newburn at it, dribbling around. They're gonna slow the uh, movement around. Kessel. Hennings guard with five, puts up a shot, no good, rebounded by Stinson. Kicks it out to Swanson, far corner, and he threw it right into the hands of the coach for the Royals, and it'll be Royals basketball against Swanson in uniform, and in the starting five for Dawson. Again, Dawson's gonna wanna run the floor. Lake Region's gonna wanna slow things down. Hennings guard has it. Good defense by Kel Short, Weak black uniforms. Uh, look good on the Bucks. Shot, free throw line, Feltman no good. And Waller's run down, Waller's out of bounds. Good try on the save. And it'll be Bucks basketball. Uh, Stinson will inbound to Riley Spoonhunter. Again, uh, talked a little bit, didn't uh, give you a lot of numbers on Riley. Uh, so Riley's led scoring twice inside, Charles Lampton. Oh, he couldn't get the uh, extra bounce, stayed with it. He missed another one, two in a row underneath. And 
referee goes over to the scores table. They called a warning on uh, number three, Newburn. Don't know what that was uh, in regards to Jennings. Got up court, up with the shot there, missed. So nobody can uh, get a basket here. It was Holverson and uh, Dawson back in the offense. Stinson pass over to Swanson. Swanson between the legs. Double team on ball for a minute. Pass over to Kel Shore. Around it goes. Charles double team. Pass over. Stinson with three. Going to go to the hoop. Drives the uh, basket. No good. Rebound Charles Lampton. Here he goes. And, uh, oh, take it away to the Royals. Three pointer. Swanson no good. The other number three, Newburn. And the Royals bring the ball forward. Over to Ennings Guard. We'll try to pass on some numbers for Lake Region 2 in the uh, game last night. Russell inside. Little put up there for Brody. Kressel gets the first basket. Stinson, Kel Shores around the top. Spoon Hunter, Swanson. Different uh, starting five here for Coach Joey. He said he's going to try a few things. Uh oh, offensive foul on Swanson. The uh, body, the defender. And that'll be the first in the uh, ball game for the Dawson Bucks. 2 0 on a uh, basket by Kressel for the Royals. They're coached by Jared Marshall. And here come the Royals. Kressel, far corner, shakes the defender with Henning's guard, Carson. Buxton, North Dakota. I'm saying that's over. Right. Grand Fort, three pointer on the way, no good. And here comes Stinson and the Bucks. Whoops. To uh, find the teammates. Boone Hunter at the top, now left side. Charles underneath. He missed a couple of early baskets. Now, real close. And not, not quite what Charles wants to start on. Some easy bunnies. And uh, Swanson gives in Spoon Hunter right in front of us. We're on the upper deck here at the uh, college. Blocking track. Bounce pass. It's Shells. Kel Shores at it. Inside Lampton. Oh, we were uh, looking for a foul. Didn't get it. And here comes Lake Region. And Dawson at the top of the pack in the uh, standings. The Royals in the middle. Dawson's beat them twice on the season. Into the post. Hennings guard. Turnaround shot. Fake no good. Inside rebound by Newburn. Keeping it alive. Here's a three ball by Feltman. No. And the rebound by Stinson. He's had two or three already in early play. Kel Shore, three-pointer. That one no good. And a rebound for Henningsgaard. Kicks it over to Newburn. And uh, here comes Henningsgaard and the road behind the back. Good defense by Swanson. Four minutes into the uh, opening play here from the uh, men's game. Shot no for Newburn. Running the court is... Nice pass over. Spooner. Oh no, Kell had a beautiful pass, and the uh, Bucks could not finish. So, like last night, not a lot of scoring here in the opening minutes. Hennings guard, screen on by, by Feldman. Hennings guard pulls off it, shot on the way. No, there's Stinson. He's had some numbers. Up court to Shears. Up with the shot. Charles Lampton. The no look pass from Kell over to his other sophomore. And uh, to the line goes the uh, big guy, Charles Lampton. Talked about him last night. 15 points. In fact, that might be the uh, career high for Charles. Charles, first free throw. No good, he'll have another. Charles, a year ago, he had 33 blocks. Going into last night, he had 33 on the season. Charles now, 36. So three blocks last night. Yeah, three of the four. Can he get a free throw? I can't get that either. Charles on the uh, season. 
50% into the uh, ninth on the free throws. 28 55. He's missing bunny, he's missing free throws. Now Evans. Oh, Evans checks in, lost his uh, teammate. He is inside, goes outside into the uh, bleacher. Charles will go out, and there's that line chain, the uh, normal line chain for Dawson. So it'll be the brother, Jawan Tot, Jalen Tot. Uh oh, ball taken away. Good hands in there for Hennings guard. Hennings guard will stop, wait his team, and they're going to reset here. Somar also checked in, Evans. With it at the free throw line, over to low, far corner, deep into the elbow, uh, it was Kressel, Evans, three seconds, uh, three pointer on the way, Tyler Low. So low, it's five nothing, Dawson is gonna play from behind. Jawan Tot, Kennedy Brown, Jalen Tot. The other is uh, for Dawson, Martin, and Michael Choke. Jalen Tot, Jawan Tot, Looking to uh, move the offense here. We're gonna do something pretty quick. Martin pass over to Jawan Tot. Jawan drives the hole. Shot on the runner, no good. And Jawan three pointer, no good. Dawson cannot get a basket here, including the missed free throws by Charles. Hennings guard. He had a nice game last night. Picks his dribble up, goes into the uh, corner to low. He just connected on the uh, three corner. Evan spins inside. Trace got his uh, way to the hole. Missed the shot, and here comes Dawson on the far corner. Michael Choke spins. Jalen Todd in the far underneath the baseline. Drives all the way around. Michael Jawan Tot. Ten seconds to go. Dawson not scored in the first seven minutes of this ballgame. Jalen Tot drives in past the uh, step and basket there. Somehow he got it to go. And on the other end, up with the shot of Henning's guard and we'll have free throws. Dawson, it took him almost uh, seven minutes to score in the ballgame. And when they did, it was kind of a, uh, see what happens. Timeout on the uh, floor here. We're seven minutes into the game. It's five to two. We're back in one minute. When it comes to meeting your financial goals at Edward Jones, we strive to meet every expectation and financial service need while providing exceptional personalized service. In Glendive, Edward Jones has two offices. Cody Severe at 1021 North Merrill, phone 377-8331. And Angie Hagen, phone 377-4493. That's Edward Jones making sense of investing. Do you want New York style pizza with fresh sauce and dough crafted daily? Why not try Monte Carlo's of Glendive? Family owned and operated, Monte Carlo is Eastern Montana's slice of Italy. Come down to 121 North Merrill in Glendive and try our 10 different flavors of wings, delicious pastas, salads, wraps, meatballs, and lasagna. Or have us deliver your slice of Italian cuisine today. Call 406 377 1200 or place an order at ordermonte.com. Well, I find this interesting. Last night, in a two-point win for Dawson, not a player hit double figure for Lake Region. Not one player hit double figure about the entire team. And an average, well, right around seven, eight points. <laughs> so that was kind of interesting. Hennings guard, the uh, shooter now, three throw one, no good. He was two of two last night. Uh, pass the ball well. He had five assists. And they had him with four rebounds. Two offenses, two defenses. Second free throw up and in. And uh, got a, a sub. Hennings guard goes out. And Overson maybe check back in. Six to twos are scored. Dawson. Play homes to Lake Region again tonight. Back to back nights. I love it. Left side. Yeah, that was hard. Here's a shot on the way. Michael Choke, no good. 
And Lake Region, now Lowell, comes up with it. Ball pass in Evan, back towards the, ooh, bounce pass it in. Ball taken away by the Bucks. They're gonna run the floor, here's Jalen Tott. No nope, follow up, no. Nope. And the follow up was by Martin. And when all said and done, the, the big guy swings around, gets the ball, that's Evans. And here comes Lake Region. This might be the lowest start for scoring on the air for the Bucks. Evans, uh-oh, bumps his way in, but the ball goes loose. Evans picks it back up, turns right underneath the hoop, too close, tip back up and in for uh, Trace Evans. Australian ball player for the Royals. 8-2, 11-46 here in half number one of the men's game. Jalen Top over to uh, Joan. Cross court from Joke to Martin. Inside, we have a push. We'll await the uh, score. Also should Give a uh, shout out. I think it's Coach Romeo's uh, newlywed wife's birthday today. So happy birthday, Tammy Johnson. Romeo's wife, log man out, I guess. The uh, Bucks got the basket there. Tammy Johnson, Tammy log mine now. <laughs> all right. Up court, driving all the way in, ball swatted away. Good hands in there for Kennedy Brown. And the Bucks on the run. Jalen Todd baseline. Corner shot, Michael Choke rattles around, drops away, Somar on the rebound, and here come the Royals. Up by four, it's 8-4, Royals. Tyler Lowe, he's the only one with the uh, long ball, Evans now has it, catches up the free throw line. Drive shot, free throw line, uh, just inside, bounce, 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 no good. And uh, that was Newburn. Dawson's gonna run the floor, spin, shot, off balance. They're gonna say block. And the hometown the crowd likes them tall. That's the thing with a you know, charger block. That half of them have been happy with it, the other half not. But they got that uh, right. Reggie Martin at the uh, line for Dawson. Let's see here, Reggie, last night. 11 points. Again, he is what I, I said in 18 versus Bismarck, 13 in five other games with 11 points. One of them last night. First free throw up and in. Sub in here as the big guy Evans goes out. Dawson's new five getting uh, ready. Second free throw, no good. Rebound. Nice Felton, I think he checked in for Evan. And here comes Lake Region, Newburn. Play calls, moves it over to Hengsgar, right in front of Dawson, standing next to Joe, in fact. Back to Newburn, he spins in, in the key. Ball swatted that by Kennedy Brown, shot missed. And here comes Choke, Choke, bounce pass over to Jawanta. Back to Choke, up with the shot. Was that Choke or was that Kennedy Brown? Yeah, Kennedy Brown on the basket. And now Dawson uh, down by just the uh, one point. Number one, Henning's guard with the ball. Kicks it to Pressel, Brody. Far corner now. Back out top, Henning's guard pops one. Three pointer. Bingo, the triple at the top. 9.44 now, 11.7 is our score. Here comes Michael Choke. No, not Michael. We got the uh, pass from Michaels to Wonton. Kennedy Brown, Reggie Martin now. Looks right, goes left. Traffic jam underneath. Jalen Todd, Michael Choke, three-pointer. That one no good. Dawson is ice cold from the field. 9-18, and here come the Royals. Again, they're in a white uniform. Dawson in the class. Headings guard in two belt. Cole Feltman got the little turnaround hooker, and it's 13-7. Just a couple of field goals for Dawson, nothing on the uh, outside. Choke over to Reggie Martin. Kenny Brown wanting to uh, spot underneath. 
Jalen Todd, there's been five subs here for Dawson, waiting for about two minutes now. Not a lot happening. Seven, Michael Choke, three-pointer. That one, two, rattles around, no. Kennedy Brown puts it up underneath. Now he got his own rebound. Ball goes loose. And what do we got? They're going to whistle a foul there, a timeout. We had a uh, timeout. Timeout on the floor. Those five new players will come in for Dawson. We're going to keep it right here. Buccaneer basketball brought to you tonight by our game day sponsor. Thank you to Fisher Sand and Gravel. WBI Bob's Body Shop. Bob and Bev and Blaine and the entire Bob's Body Shop. Yellowstone River Inn, Coca-Cola, Flower Basket, Edward Jones, Angie and Cody. Angie, of course, one of the uh, financial advisors, as is Cody Sevier, taking over for his father after many years. Alan, of course. Protect Diesel, Jesse and Joe and the boys. Monte Carlo, the Flower Basket. American Bank Center, Boss Office, HKT, Big Sky Motors, Stitcher, Sand and Gravel, WBI. Well, the uh, short timeout over. Screen on ball. That was Feldman. Gets the uh, ball back uh, to Widmer, who checks in. Michael Widmer. Travels. Oh, big travel there. Everybody's mad about that here. <laughs> and when all said and done, won't matter. Here comes Dawson. Stinson bounces over to, to uh, Lampton. Charles. Oh, he traveled. They didn't call it. Make a call. Basket. And Charles gets his first basket at eight, eight to go in half number one. Well, this is low scoring. I can keep my own stats. Good tonight so far. Widmer don't have any uh, numbers yet, but we'll see if we get some. Feldman over to Widmer. Henning's gone. Carson dribbles. Goes towards the basket, out top, Widmer. Three-pointer on the way, no good by uh, number 25. We'll get the uh, pronunciation on him. Uh, shot by Feldman, no good. The uh, loose ball run down, all the way down. Here comes Swanson to Spoonhunter. Spoonhunter runs it down, saves it from going out. Kel Shores, it's the uh, starting five, Lampton to Shores. Kells three-pointer on the way. There we go, we got one from the outside. Kell Shores gets one. Mitrovic is the uh, player wearing number 25. Feldman. And uh, here comes Crescent Brody. Almost lost it there. Feldman ran it down. Carson Ennings guard. Inside, now goes out. Three-pointer on the way by Kressel. No, run down by Lake Region. Oh, two. Too much on it. All goes out of bounds on the pass. And it'll be Dawson basketball. Well, if you would have uh, told me it was going to be 13-12 with six and a half minutes to go, I would have thought you were crazy. But that's where we're at. Dawson down by one. Kel uh, Nick's the uh, first three-pointer. Inside, Charles bounces in, goes one way, goes the other. Yeah, travel. Good call. Kel Shores hit his sixth three in the season. Last year, Kel had 26 three-pointers. Inbound, Hennings guard. 26 last season, he's got three. Oh, blocked shot, that'll get him clapping. Charles Lampton, and here comes the box. Spoon Hunter, and a foul. A block shot by Charles Lampton. Again, he had 33 uh, last season. He had 33 before last night, and three from last night, and now he's got 37 leading the conference and block shots. Time out on the uh, floor. We got five new players. We'll tell you who's back in for Dawson when we come back. Buccaneers and the Royals. 13-12. We're back in one minute. 
Pickups are profit centers and downtime is costly. Protect Diesel and Glendive delivers solutions with certified technicians and the expertise to diagnose and fix issues with engine, transmission, and drivetrain performance. And they stock a wide range of solid diesel parts and accessories. Locally owned and operated 25 years, earning their living by protecting your profit center. Protect Diesel. Glendine, 406-365-2100. Yellowstone River Inn, a 24-hour restaurant with the best in dining that goes together with their motel, casino, and lounge. Happy hour at the YRI is from 3 to 6 with 2 for 1 on wine, well drinks, and drafts. Plus, Tuesdays and Thursdays have 2 for 1 on domestic bottled beer. And remember, their famous buffets on all special occasions. Stop on out at 1903 North Merrill Avenue or call for more information at 377-4433. See you at the river. That's the Yellowstone River and in Glenda. Well, the Buccaneers win last night 54-52 in Devil's Lake. It was 74-66. Dawson was two losses coming on the road here uh, last week. Final in, uh, well, they were against Bismarck and NDSCS. 13-12. We're at five minutes, well, 5.50 to go in half number one. Jalen Todd, Michael Choke, Reggie Martin, and uh, Kennedy Brown gets the ball inside. Turnaround shot. Yes, score the basket. Kennedy. Those are the five new players for Dawson. So we got Martin Choke, Joan Tot, Jalen Tot, and uh, Reggie Martin. Now oh, that big push down underneath they uh, didn't see. Now that could have been a foul on Trace Evans. He catches it down. Turns around on Martin. Or Kennedy Brown, excuse me. Newburn looks to the uh, hoop drive. Uh, shut down from inside. Three seconds. Traveling with the basketball turnover. All right, James Solmar. And it'll be Dawson with 507 here in half number one. 14 Dawson, 13 Lake Region. The Buccaneers again play host to Lake Region at Devil's Lane. Drive in Michael Cho. Jalen Todd in the corner. Spin it around. Dawson's going to set the offense here. Joan Todd, Michael Cho. Joan steps in with eight. Look to move. Shot off. Not a very good shot by Michael Cho. And the Buccaneers back on the defense. Somar almost lost it. Got the shot up. No rebound. I had to call it that by. Jalen Todd, alley -oop, up. Oh, Kennedy Brown falls over, as does one of the uh, Royals. And he's still down. Probably on Newburn, his second. And to the line will go Kennedy Brown for Dawson. And we uh, talked a little bit. Kennedy had the uh, two basket. Last night, two points, five rebounds on the uh, season. Into the game, 72 rebounds. Can be at the free throw line, 69 percent. Um, nine of 13. We'll see if he can get the uh, second one. First one, miss. So he'll get another one here. Stand by, we'll identify here momentarily. Second one, up and in. The uh, Bucks now up by two, 15-13. Somar breaks the uh, press, good defense by Dawson. Back through it, Newburn, far corner. Around it goes. Move it now is Newburn, drive in. Free throw line shot, yes, got it to go. And we got ourselves a tie ball game, 15-15. Drive. Kennedy Brown, three-pointer on the way, no good. Reggie Martin goes for the rebound. Timeout, uh, well, for our station identification, you're listening to Bucks Basketball. We live where you live. You've always got a friend on 1400 KXGN Glendive. KXGN, the amazing AM. Bucks take it away, inside, brother to brother. 
And uh, out top now, Jalen Todd, who was maybe in uh, foul there. Pass over. Was it? Uh, I think it was. Joan Todd now to Jalen with 10. Jalen moves his way in and uh, draws the foul. The head coach, Jaron Marshall, did not like the call. And to the line, Jalen Tots. Can we talk about Jalen's ability to make the move? Again, uh, Jalen averaging seven on the season. See how he uh, he's got 90 points into the game. He too doesn't make the uh, first. Second free throw up and in, so Dawson takes back the lead. That's the third lead change. And now we go to X at 16 15. <laughs> Low scoring ball game. Ah, Mike with a choke. Uh, moves towards the uh, pass there. That's his second. And it'll be Newburn inbounding at center court. Charles Lampton, Kennedy Brown sub in here. So Lampton in, Newburn out. And I mean, Kennedy Brown and Charles Lampton fall off the uh, floor of Sobar and it'll be Bucks basketball. Again, thanks to uh, Paul Sherlock's in engineering tonight. How does it work? The boss working double time tonight. Anyway, here we go. Charles Lampton, pass over now, driving in. Reggie Martin, uh oh, offensive foul. And uh, that'll go again. Uh, Reggie. Reggie Martin is first. And we got three minutes to go here in half number one. The two teams played down to the final shot last night. The Buccaneers win. The Lady Bucks win last night and tonight. Again, they won't be home until uh, next Wednesday night. We'll have the call. The yeah, team go to Williston here on Sunday. Pass over now. Driving in. Stop. Shot. At the uh, block. Uh, didn't see the shooter. Ball is loose. What do we have? Jump ball. Foul. And that's press of Brody. And they're going to say jump ball. Spoon Hunter comes in as the Stinson. Uh, Jalen Top, Michael Choke out for Dawson. 2.40 to go here in half number one. Stinson and Jawan Top call the plays here as they move past center court. Between the circles, pass over Riley Spoon Hunter. Charles Lampton now far corner. Back. Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter takes the bounce across. Nice pass. Underneath shot by Stinson. Ball goes out of bounds. And it'll be Royals basketball. Coach Joe not saying a lot over there. He's standing with his arms folded. You can bet the uh, shots. Kind of like you had said during the women's hot ball. Pass over. Spoon Hunter has it. Spoon Hunter spins. Well, take it right out of his hands. Here comes Brody Kressel. Well, take it right back. Jawan Todd. Jawan over to Reggie Martin. To Jawan. Spoon on her. Well, they tip out of the hands. So they'll stay with the Buccaneers. Two minutes to go here in half number one. Jawan Todd in the uh, corner. Well, inbound, Riley Spoon on her left, wide open, right in front of the students. Riley gets one from the corner. Time out on the court. Riley's 21st three on the year, and Riley connects. It's a short, we'll do the same. Buccaneers, Royals, Bucks up by four, 19 15. We're back in 30. All persons planning to dig on public or private property to make a free call to 811 two days before they excavate. It's the most important step you can take to avoid hitting underground utility lines. Careless digging can cause a loss of utility service to hundreds of people, expensive repairs, or worse, severe injury, even death for an innocent worker. Know what's below. Call 811 before you dig. This message brought to you by WBI Energy Transmission. 
Brody will inbound right underneath Dawson Soup. So they'll have the entire floor go to Presley. And the ball knocked out of them. And it'll still be Royals on the inbound. Just moves down a little closer to the uh, student section. Now we'll move the baseline. Calls a timeout. And uh, Dawson will like that. They stop the inbound pass. Timeout on the floor. It's a full. We'll do the same. Buccaneers, Royals, Dawson by four. We're back in one minute. Never okay, but if you walk away without injury, it is also no big deal because Bob's Body Shop can put you at ease and your outfit back together again as good as new. And they have everything from the nick in the windshield or a minor fender bender to complete collision work and frame straightening. And Bob's Body Shop will take care of the insurance paperwork too. An accident? Never okay, but you will be. Take it to Bob's Body Shop. No big deal. Phone 365-2621. Estimates are free. For the important people and occasions in your life, it can be hard to say what you want to. Here at the Flower Basket, we know just how to say it with our lovingly crafted floral arrangements. Owning the Flower Basket has been Amy's dream, and she puts her heart and soul in what she creates. And with delivery, sending a message has never been easier. Give the Flower Basket a call at 377-5615, or stop by 305 North Merrill Avenue. Find them on Facebook or on the web at undiveflowers.com. Lake Lee in the inbound. Hoverson will do the honors. Gives in to Cressel uh, Brody. Somar now. Johnson on the uh, defense. Pressure. All the way up court, wide open. Oh, they're going to say, what, foul or goaltending? And uh, the foul. On Charles Lampton, his first, and to the line is Newburn. Newburn, uh, 6'4 from New Hope, Minnesota. Went to Rampa Christian Academy for free throw. I think he uh, missed it. Second free throw. No good, rebound, Charles. Second one I know for a fact missed, but I was looking down, didn't see the uh, first. Oh, Charles almost lost it. Kept the handle on it. Charles dribbles, looking for help, and he does. Gives it over to a guard. He goes down into the box where he belongs. Reggie Martin, pass over to Charles Lampton, who he tries to force it across to Stinson. And the ball will stay with Dawson. So Dawson underneath. We'll see what uh, they can get started here. Jawan Tox into Stinson. Stinson little floater there, no good. Falls his rebound. Ball is still loose. Run down by Jawan Tot. Riley Spoon on will move. He traveled, no whistle. And now Charles Lampton gets called. Bucks back in the defense here. And we go the other way with uh, Lake Region. Evans. Evans pass over to uh, Overson. Back to the dribbler. Now Newburn. Newburn goes one way, goes the other way. Now puts it up, puts it in. This might be the lowest scoring half that I can recall in Buccaneers history. Riley Spoon on her left corner. Riley gets one to go. So Riley's three pointer. Maybe it is taking a little, little time to wake up here for Dawson. Of course, that's an HKT three pointer basket. Driving now is Newburn for a three pointer. HKT donates $5. Inside, Trace Evans spins, block, John Charles Lampton, his second in the ballgame, Dawson on the run, Reggie Martin, and it's going to be on the uh, floor, won't matter, bonus shot's coming, so you'll have to make one to get one, as we're in bonus, and at the line for Dawson is Reggie Martin, Reggie, 
I already talked uh, about his 11 last night. He had 13 in the last few games. Can he uh, miss? It's just a one shot in three seconds. They're going to get one at the buzzer. In here, shot no. And we go to the, uh, go to the halftime. It's 22 18. The uh, Bucks go to the locker room on the left. Lake Region goes to the one on the right, opposite from where their benches are. But it's halftime here at Dawson Community College. We're going to have some drum beating down here with the uh, music program. Again, if you weren't with us during the women's game, I had commented about the music program here at Dawson. Uh, pretty impressive, both the choir and the uh, band often uh, here doing their part to entertain. So halftime here in the uh, gymnasium. It's the men's game. The ladies win earlier. The Lady Bucks, the Buccaneers have crawled into a four-point lead here at the half. 22-18. Let's take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back with some stats, a little bit of a summary of half number one, and we'll do so in two minutes. Everyone knows it. In other parts of the country, they'll say soda, even pop. Here, it's give me a Coke, please. Cool, refreshing, totally involved taste. Similar to the total community involved folks at Glendive Coca-Cola bottling. Look around. Coca-Cola's influence is everywhere, and rightfully so, because this is Coca-Cola country. Reach for the freshest in taste. Coke is in, in Glendive and eastern Montana. Now enjoy the game. We're headed somewhere new. What lies ahead may be unknown, but we're headed there together. We'll be the steady, sure guide leading you forward, rooted, resilient, rising to the challenge. Because we are American. Banking, trust, and insurance. Why, Team Boss, we really do appreciate your business. We know you have other choices, but we are very thankful for your patronage. Boss Office Products offers nationally competitive pricing, free to-the-spot delivery, hassle-free return policy with free pickup. As the largest local office and equipment supplier in the Mondac, call 1-800-ABC-BOSS. We're on the web at abcboss.com, Facebook, Messenger, and on-site sales reps. Team Boss. Are you a hands-on learner looking for new opportunities? Dawson Community College's career and technical programs like welding, corrosion technology, and criminal justice offer hands-on instruction in state-of-the-art facilities from instructors with decades of experience in their fields. The team at Dawson is excited to speak with you about how one of our career and technical programs can help you build the future you want. For more information, visit dawson.edu. Time stats going to be a fairly quick rundown because uh, not a lot of scoring here. 22 18 for Dawson. Riley Spoonhunter uh, led scoring with two three pointers and six first half points. Uh, next in, Kennedy Brown with five. Uh, Kel Shores had the first three pointer. Uh, that was his halftime uh, scoring. Jalen Todd had a field goal and a free throw, so three for him. Free throw for Reggie Martin, two points for Michael Choke on a field goal. Uh, five for Kennedy Brown, two for Charles Lampton. Charles missed two free throws. They have him won a free shooting, and uh, those three shots uh, all should have, have gone down. <laughs> a couple missed shots underneath for the big guy. Uh, free throw, Dawson, three and nine. Uh, yeah, 3 of 9 free throws, 33%. 3 of 11 outside, 27%. And 8 on 28 field goals in the first half, 28%. So again, uh, quickly it was uh, Spoon Hunter with 6, 5 for Brown, 3 for Caleb Shores, 3 for Jalen Todd, a basket for Charles. A basket for Michael Choke and a free throw for Reggie Martin. That's the uh, 22 for Dawson. 
Four Lake region, uh, New Bern had uh, two field goals, a free throw, led half scoring with five, four on a three for uh, Carson Henningsgaard and a free throw. Uh, three pointer for Tyler Lowe. Uh, two points for Brody Kressel. Two points for Feldman. And two for the big guy, Trace Evans. Seven of 30 for 23%. Uh, two of eight for 25% from downtown. And at the free throw line, two of four, 50%. Totals in the uh, first half, total turnovers, eight of these. Total rebounds, 21 for Lake Region, 25 for Dawson. The uh, largest lead was 8-2 for the start of this. And uh, there was one lead team, one tie. So that's, that's the uh, scoring for the uh, Buccaneers. Again, a very low scoring game. It's not the you know, shot selection that uh, I think Coach Joe would would like to see here. So it's half time, 22 18. We got the uh, head coach of the uh, women's program coming over. He likes radio. Grab a headset, coach. And, uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, women's program here at Dawson. We got Coach Romeo Lugmai and uh, Coach, good to see you. Good to see you too. How you doing? Yeah. Doing all right. I can hear you. Not energized. Not like you. Coach, I just talked about I, I heard it was your uh, wife's birthday today. Is that true? No. That, that don't know uh, Romeo, head coach of the men or the women's program, uh, had married the softball coach. She followed you out here too. I guess. She is from Alabama. That's where we met from Alabama. And then I told her about this great state of Montana. A great gig here when it's 40 below. That that part she kind of gave me the wide-eyed look, like what? It kind of winter is this when she's used to. Uh, you know, that's southern weather out there in the south. It's humidity and You know, we haven't got sun. to talk very often. You send your players over, and that, that's nice to get to meet the, the uh, ladies. But how's this 40 below been to you? Oh, I'll never get used to it. Yeah? Oh, never. I come in, and you got your boots and your jacket. <laughs> I'll come in, and I am suited and booted for the Antarctica. <laughs> You know, we work colder than Antarctica here. I heard. Yeah. I heard, but I'm always, when you see me, people laugh at me, but I'm toasty. I don't feel anything. I don't laugh at you. I laugh with you. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, good game tonight. Uh, yes. A little lopsided, but uh, Samaya played well. Yes. I did some coaching when I do the announcing, too. The, the outside shot has not been... The uh, where you want it, I can no. I can safely say that. But uh, you know, to my you know, hit some shots tonight. Oh, she was five for ten from three point range. Yeah, uh, added to her career high tonight. Career high, twenty eight points. Last year, twenty eight this year, ten uh, steals. Ten steals. She's having a really good 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 year. Talk a little bit about tonight, and uh, you know, we haven't talked here the last few games, but uh, coach, you got to be happy with your gals. They Passed the ball well tonight. Last night, uh, you know, defense, uh, you know. Defense uh, kept us in the game. What, what's happening, if the ball's not falling in the basket how we want, from a half-court standpoint, our defense is really keeping us in the games. You know, I, they're just, they're, their defense is just, they're on a rampage. It's very tenacious, and and when we smell blood, it's, it's a frenzy. Well, the uh, defense, you know, you keened in on the gal from Miles. And, yes. Uh, you held her, but you couldn't shoot the ball that night. No, we couldn't. No. Talk a little bit about the overall in the season. We lost a couple games, but you got to be pretty happy with your Lost team. a couple games. We, we got, you know, upset there in Wapaten, but once again, we played great defense there. We were up. We couldn't put the ball in the basket. Once we put the ball in the basket, 
we're a very hard team to beat. But I'm very, I'm very happy with the girls and their work ethic. We had a very hard preseason uh, training uh, workout, and it's just paying off right now. And those girls are really working. Their work ethic, no matter what, if we're down, we're still going to be playing tough on Long defense. Preseason. Yes, because there's no basketball in yeah. the fall. I talked last last night with Shia, who another uh, tremendous athlete. Shia Klappenstein, but uh, she says, you know, the, uh, you don't get to practice very much. These back-to-back -back games and not no, a lot of time. No, no. I asked her, I said, well, that's got to be good. And she says, yeah, game days are much easier than practice. Romeo puts us to the task. <laughs> I think it's exactly how she worded it, but. Yeah, hey, we, 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 pract we practice. We practice, we practice hard. We really do. And I'm just like, I'm very thankful for the, that whole team is just very strong and practicing. I mean, we play like we never won a game, and we practice like we want to win a game. You know, we just, that's how they are. So after tonight's uh, win, we go to Williston on what, Sunday? Sunday, yes, for the second matchup. And uh, we got one more with them on the home floor, right? That would be sophomore night sophomore here night. towards, and I think, mean, March 20th. Before I forget, we'll go back to the uh, schedule, but before I forget, uh, how was Pink Night? Uh, do you have a total? Pink Night was, you know, I have not yet totaled that because... Games are so back to back to back. We're having four games, makeup games, when we didn't play the first two uh, contests of the conference play. And Bismarck, yep. So games have been thrown in there, and it's just been really, really uh, busy. But from what I can kind of guess, uh, we're probably around the same ballpark that we've been, what we've been doing, just a little bit under 2,000. So talk about play for K9. Tell us the background behind that. Tell us uh, you got a couple trophies in our case for uh, yes, the most money. Yes, the last two years we were back-to-back -back, uh, national champs raising the most money for Play for K. And this year we plan on doing the same thing. Uh, you know, it's just a great cause. We've been I've been doing it personally in my career since 2006 as a head coach. And we've been raising money ever since then. And, you know, it's just it's a breast cancer uh, awareness and fundraising campaign that's led by uh, the Play for Cake Foundation and the WBCA, which is the Women's Basketball Coaches Association. And it's a national campaign for all women's basketball of, of all levels and divisions. And we happen to partake in it. And Glendive does a really good job. Our community and our campus just really hones in on it. And we do a great job of promoting it. So we go to Williston. What do we know about Williston? Williston's a little tough team, but, you know, we... Fortunately, we won that first game, but we're on their home turf, and they've won a couple of good games. So, you know, the Mondak, you can't sleep on anyone, really. You know, even the team that's in last place, if they decide one night, you know what, let's just upset a team. Let's just, we don't want to be that casualty team. So we're not taking Williston or any other opponent in conference lightly. And what do you know about Dakota College? That's who we have next week, Wednesday, right? Uh, they're actually doing pretty good. And uh, they have a lot of three-point shooters. They have, a, they have a, some Montana girls on their team. So what I always do, the Montana girls that don't commit to uh, Dawson, I always trap them in defense. So uh, with the way our defense is going, uh, good luck to those Montana girls that are playing with Botno. But they, they're well coached. They, I, I uh, respect their co coaching staff. Wayne up there, he does a good job with those girls. He's, He's been in the business a long time, so I really respect this program. Well, I met Bren Joma last night for the first time. No, win it, yes. Uh, kind of gave me a history of how she got to Dawson. Turned down your offer to start. Yes. Win did track over at uh, MSUB, I believe, yes. right? And then, uh, and then she got the itch. She got the itch. <laughs> and then she called me up, and actually when she texted me, I said, who is this? And she said, this is Bren Joma. I said, Bren Joma, Bren Joma. I said, oh, yeah. How's it going, Bren? <laughs> So, yeah, that's the, you know, the story takes off from there. But all, all in all, you're happy with your season? and uh, Very happy. We had a 3.61 GPA in the first semester. The girls are hitting the uh, books hard. And that's what you want out of a program is this, you know, student athletes to really uh, do good in the classroom and on the court. Talk a little bit about, you know, I suppose COVID's shut down some of those service hours. But the whole athletic department last year had some honors. And uh, adopt the buck, another thing that's still going uh, That's still strong. going strong. And the, once again, the Glendive community is heavily involved and very supportive. 
And even though we're going through COVID times, I mean, the girls uh, persevere, and the rest of our athletic department is just, everyone's just hands-on and just willing to help each other. Oh, wear the mask as a coach. Yay, nay. Sometimes I may suffocate sometimes, but you don't see me, but... Uh, well, sometimes it, it helps you, too. They can't always hear what you're, you're saying it, or thinking, right? Yeah, that's true. You don't. You can't see, read my lips, all right? <laughs> coach, always a pleasure. Thank you. And Coach Romeo Lugmai. And uh, here we go. Good to see you. Well, the two teams are uh, getting ready to go. We have the uh, stats. And... Uh, Thanks for straightening me out, Coach, on the birthday. And we're about ready to go. Again, Buccaneers and Lake Region. We go to half number two on a low scoring 22 18 score. Are you ready for some basketball? The Royals are. They're back on the floor. The Bucks are over the bench with Coach Joe Peterson. And we may be in for that. Final shot here again to uh, end this one. Who knows? Inbound, Newburn, the uh, five for the uh, Lake Region. Oh, ball oh, taken away. On the move, Stinson, coast to coast, goes up. Will they score the basket? They give him a continuation and a beautiful play there for Cordell Stinson. To the line for the and one. Players for Dawson. Is this the uh, starting five? It may be Kel Shores, Swanson, Stinson, Spoon under, and Lampton. Free throw uh, up and in. And here come the Royals. We'll get their five here. Dribbling is Newburn to Feltman. Back to Newborn. Three-pointer on the way, Holverson, that one rattles around low. Uh-oh, they missed the foul on Feldman. Coach Joe, uh, letting that be known. Three-pointer on the way, up and in. Brody Cressa, so is his name. Five for the uh, Royals. Hennings guard, Newburn, Cressa, Holverson, and Feldman. Spoonhunter on the uh, play into the corner now, right in front of Dawson's bench. Spoonhunter, fake the three, bounces in, back to the hoop, free throw line, comes all the way back out, Kel Shores. Swanson, nine seconds, Lampton, Kel, Kel knows how to attack, bounces it over to the corner, Spoonhunter got the defender in the air, he goes up with a shot underneath, missed, rebound, Charles Lampton, jump ball, and it'll stay with Dawson. Looks like, uh, hopefully you heard Coach Romeo's interview. It's a little bit loud. He, he gets kind of close to that microphone, so. Well, my apologies, I should have watched that a little closer, but. Appreciate him stopping by. Dawson by four here, 25-21. We're about a minute and 30 seconds in. A half number two. We get a little more action on the scoring here in half two. Swanson, far corner. Kell spots up, drives in, pass out. Three-pointer, Swanson. Air ball right in the hands of Charles Lampton. He goes up and again can't get the uh, underneath, but he will have free throws. Charles Lampton, leading scorer in blocks in the conference. Now with 37 on the season. 38 maybe, I think he had two here in the first half. First free throw missed. So it's 0 of 3. So I say that with anticipation of the made free throw. Yes, Scott, good job, Carl. He had again 15 last time. Trapped in the backcourt. Newburn, who heading guard. And he pass it to nobody. And it'll be a turnover right into the uh, fans here. And it'll be Stinson in the backwards to Swanson. Dawson on the end dribble, Swanson. They're going to do a screen switch, Swanson. Charles Lampton gets it, spins in. Goes right, goes left, goes in and out. Oh, he can't get it to go. And it's on Charles. 
It'll be on Charles, his second. And Charles cannot buy a basket. Inbound, Feltman. Feltman over to Henningsgaard. Almost lost it. Good defense by Stinson. Screen on ball. Henningsgaard and Frank and Drew. The uh, middle. Pass over to Colerson. Is that Newburn? Yes. Pass over Henningsgaard. Pulls one from outside. Three pointer. No good. Rebound, Charles. Charles. Stinson now up for Here comes the Bucks. Stop, pop, shut. On the way by uh, Swanson. No good. And again, Dawson not shooting the ball very well at all. Much surprise. Kressel at it. Now he gets it back. He goes out. Now he goes baseline. Goes off the foot of the Bucks. And we Lake Region inbounding. 26-21. The Red Devils play tomorrow. We'll give you game times on that. We got back to back games. Those are semi final games, too. We got the uh, Red Devil girls taking on BC, the Red Devil boys. I think they got more. Oh, big game for Dawson. Inside, newborn into, in, off the glass, and in. Bold Felton. He gets it to go. Draws contact. And to the line goes Feltman for Lake Region. Last night, Feltman had six points. Free throw, the and one up and in. He had four of five uh, last night. And here come the new five for Dawson. You know, I guess last night, not much difference in the uh, first half, 24-24. Now Dawson as a team, 82 points per game average. New five, Jawan Tott. And Jalen Todd, got Kennedy Brown posting up underneath, choke, and Reggie Martin. Martin had it, two-handed pass, nobody dribbling. Jalen passes over to Jawan. Jawan tried to get it back to Jalen, just didn't quite work out. Ball goes off the foot, and here come the Lake Region Royals. With the ball is Newborn. Newborn attacks, draws. The uh, Buccaneer uh, foul, I mean, Jalen Todd, his second, is it? No, maybe it's just his first foul. 16-21 to go here in half number two. In Henning's guard to Newburn, three-pointer, no good. Oh, tries to rebound, Dawson run it down. Reggie Martin to Jawan Todd. Dawson's gonna run the floor, looks for the foul, block, and We'll see they say it was in the act. Everybody lines up, so I would uh, bet that be the case. Jawan Tot foul on Feltman, his first. Jawan Tot last night, three points. High on the season, three for up and in. Jawan, we talked about leading scoring at Lake Region with 16. He's at four games in uh, double figures. Had his way with the Royals in Devil's Lake. Free throw, two up and in. So he gets them both. Inbound to Evans. Evans kicks it to Somar, who checks in. And Presso, Brody. Brody breaks through all the way to the hoop. He goes up, ball goes flying out of bounds. And Brody will have free throws for Lake Region. See how he uh, fared last night. Again, about everybody had five, six points. Nobody had double figures last night. Brody with seven in the uh, game last night, one of two. Got the uh, first here. 28 25. Brody second on the way. Yeah, he's got it. They bring it within a. Uh, Two point game, 15.55 to go, 28-26. Jawan Todd, oh, almost taken away by Kressel, saving it, they didn't see that. Inside it goes, shot up, that uh, Kennedy, Mark, Reggie Martin, now Kennedy Brown follows. Kennedy Brown stays with it, 
gives the Bucks the offensive putback for the uh, basket. Somar pass over now in the corner low. Didn't see much in last night. Inside Kressel, he gets stopped on the shot. Three corner now low. No good inside rebound. Somar puts it up. And again brings it within a basket. 30-28. Sit back and enjoy the rest of this. This is going to be a fun one. Three pointer. Jalen Tot. Man, that rolled around. That's as much rolls they're going to get. Michael Cho goes up. Pass up and in. Cho to Jalen Tot. And uh, Dawson back on the defense. Here come the Royals. Ball taken away, Jalen Todd and Jawan Todd. Jalen pass over, ball goes loose. Nobody can keep a handle on it. And uh, that was Evans who cleared it and gave it to the uh, what, whistle. The foul on Todd. And that's the what, fifth foul on Dawson. Jalen Todd's. Third foul. Lake Regional inbound. Kressel, center court. In the backcourt. Throw back to Henningsgaard. Henningsgaard comes down. It's at the uh, right side. Screen on ball. Wide open three at the uh, point by Kressel. No good. Here comes Dawson. Reggie Martin. Martin stops. Dribbles. Tot. Over to Tot. Jalen to Jawan. Jalen. Now three-pointer, Michael Cho, no good, rebound, Hennings guard. On the way, here come the Royals. Walks it up the floor, is Hennings guard. He almost lost it, picked up his dribble, good defense by Dawson. Underneath, Kressel, he goes up the ball, taken away out of the hand. Michael Cho, two. Kennedy Brown, he goes up, no. And a rebound for Lake Region. Up top, here comes Lake Region. On the run, no, on the walk is Evans. Three-pointer, uh-oh, no. Jalen Todd not happy. The assistant coach is uh, all over Jalen. He'll be done uh, for a while. As we got a timeout on the floor. It's a media timeout in one minute. Dawson, everything will be fine. Is that a Pepsi Wild Cherry? Oh, no. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> you know something, Steve? Flavor Mania is about to run wild. Oh, not Flavor Mania. <laughs> Pepsi Wild Cherry is about to drop a flavor suplex right into your pie hole. Pie it's going to hit your taste buds with a top rope elbow of flavor. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be refreshing. It's going to... Does this always have to happen when you drink Pepsi Wild Cherry? You better believe it, brother. Pepsi Wild Cherry, now available in zero sugar. That's what I like. Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix is a working partner to Fisher Industries. With more than 60 years experience in the aggregate processing industry and currently ranked as one of the top 25 sand and gravel producing companies in the United States. Want the best? Call the best. 687-3383. Always ready and rolling to improve your bottom line. Call on, count on. Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix. Well, that'll be a fourth foul on Jalen Tott. And it was in the act of the three balls. So Jalen Tott not, uh, not happy. He's walking behind the bench. But uh, three shots coming. First of the uh, trio up and in. Dawson Laverell will check in for the first time. Dawson seeing some minutes here. It's foul troubles for the... Uh, Buccaneer, Jalen Tot, second free throw up and in. So Lowell will send the uh, last one up and in. So the three free throws uh, almost taken away. Ball goes loose as uh, Reggie Martin and the Dawson, Jawan Tot. Working left to right as we see the court. Dawson three-pointer Lavarell up and in. Uh, Dawson buries one. And uh, 
uh, well, that Dawson's maybe his first three on the season. Can that be right? Yes, I think it was his first three in the season. And the clock is Evans. And back to Luke, turns around. And the uh, turnover on the traveling violation. 35 31. Not a bad student crowd. Don't see many uh, the uh, baseball or softball players. So I think they could be gone. Ooh, pass stolen away. Good hands in there. The uh, ball taken away by Somar. Now yeah, foul on Dawson. And we're in bonus now. To the line will go Somar for the Lake Region Royals. And they're seven and six overall in the season, six and six in the conference. Dawson eleven and two overall, ten and two in the conference. Conference Ronda. Kennedy Brown, Dawson Laverell just checked in for Jalen and makes his first three-pointer on the season. Jawan Top, they're gonna spread the floor. Gonna have to do something pretty quick. Ten seconds. Michael Cho. Pass over the other side. Three ball, Dawson. Oh, that was in and out. I thought he was going to get his second one on the opposite quarter. He had one on the right, goes up with the one on the left. No good. Here comes Newburn. Newburn. And momentarily low. Back out top. With it is Somar. Drives in. Low. Good defense. Uh, Juan. Evan. Out top. Four. Newburn's gonna have to do something. The ball taken away. Dawson on the run. Here comes Dawson. Laverell puts it up. No follow up. Kennedy Brown. Up it in. Kennedy Brown. And one. Here's the uh, Buccaneers we were waiting to watch. 37 31. Five new players. Well, four. As Lampton will set down and wait for Kennedy Brown. Free throw Nate. And one here for Kennedy. Quiet gymnasium, free throw up and in. Again, Dawson in a very disciplined free throw. 64%, that actually has dropped over the last couple of weeks. Here comes the other end, Dawson didn't get back. In the left side, dribble drive shot. The uh, shooter there, Ben Holgerson. And uh, more free throws. So at the uh, line will be, they're going to say Spoon under on the fat leaves over. Talking with one of the referees. So two shot foul here. Number one is up and in for number 33, Ben Holverson. Just a freshman from Grand Forks. Been a few years since I made it that direction. Second one, got uh, two siblings that are UND graduates. Go Sue with the basketball and a father as well, Newburn. On the uh, defense, here's Swanson to Hell Shores. Swanson inside, ooh, bouncing around to Stinson. Wide open, Spoon Hunter. Riley gets another one here. And Riley nails one. On the move, Hennings guard. Hennings guard up court, Kressel. Around it goes. For a moment, Newburn, Kressel, good defense, Riley forces him to go down on the floor. Picked up, run down, Newborn bounces his way in. Oh no, Charles Lampton. He's an easy one, he's an easy one to call on that play. But Charles, we're in bonus. Still the uh, make one to get one. Next one will be double for the uh, Royals. And again, half the line is Newburn. Ten and a half to go. Free throw up and in. 
for New Bern. Yeah, five points at the half time. Again, not a lot of scoring in that first half. 18, we're at 34 now. 10.33 to go. 41-34, New Bern second uh, up, no good. Rebound, Stinson. Cordell clears it away himself. Center court now over Swanson. Swanson, Spoon Hunter. Riley again, same spot, same. Hunter, Spoon Hunter gets another one, same spot. That gets the uh, Buccaneers all on their feet. It's 44-34. Oh, Spoon Hunter, he's laying out. Going on the uh, floor. That is his second. He just got his first. So two threes and two fouls for Riley. Six three from Browning, Montana. And uh, back to the free throw line goes the uh, Royals. Free throw. Ooh, ooh, bounce, 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 drops in. And Brody, Brody Kressel will have another one here. Second one. That's two, a lot of bounces on his free throw. He just doesn't drop it, he uses part of the rim, all, all parts. Dribble drive, free throw shot. Swanson no good, rebound. On the rebound there, I think it's Oberson now. Hennings guard. Hands to Newburn inside. Wrestler got some uh, help on the defense. Double team for me. Hennings guard. Back out top. Driving baseline. Oh, that was an offensive foul. They missed it in, in on the uh, shot there. Uh, Brody Cresson. 44, 38, 9, 34 to go. Dawson with the lead. Here's Kel Shores. Three pointer, no good. Good rebound is Cressel. Sends it to Innings guard, and here come the Royal Center court. Got the subs get ready to check in for Lake Region. The uh, Hennings guard. Is that low? No, that's uh, Newburn up and in. So Newburn gets a three pointer. 44 41. We got ourselves a ball game. Swanson. Riley Spoon Hunter drives in on the left. Swanson. Right in front of the uh, coach. Right at the uh, point now. Calling the play of Spoon Hunter. Swanson. Stinson. A lot of passing. Going to have to uh, move. Spoon Hunter with five. Screen on ball. Give and go inside. Hit in the ground. Up and in. Spoon Hunter on the uh, six. Brown on the basket. Hennings guard. And Newborn for Lake Region. Come up for Newborn. On the drill. Picks it up. Two Hennings guard. And now is Holberson. Feldman just checked in. Inside. Doesn't get the uh, needed bounce, but we're in for free throws. We'll see what the uh, Lake Region Royals can do on these free throws. Ball move has been pretty good here in the last uh, few minutes for the Bucks. Getting some better shots first. Free throw up and in. Free throw is keeping the uh, Royals in this. Michael Choke comes in as does Jawan Top. Brother Jalen in some uh, foul trouble. Second free throw up and in. The free throws uh, going well here for Lake Region. Jawan Top. Feldman and uh, Somar. Kel thought about the three and said passes over Riley. Spoon Hunter makes it. So Spoon Hunter adds another one. Three in a row for Riley. That time he banks it at the point. Kenning's guard drives in, stops, goes back. Feldman posting up the uh, free throw line. Turns, looking to do something. He's not doing much. Now he calls for it, the uh, free throw line. Underneath, it may have been a travel, I think it was. Missed the uh, call there. Somar puts it up and in summer. 49 45. Joan Todd, Spoon Hunter, Kennedy Brown. Little six footer there, no good. Doesn't get enough up on him. And it's a rebound for Feldman. Will they run the floor? They do. 
Hennings guard, Feldman catch, pop, yes. So the extended free throw, just a step inside the three ball for Feldman. Bow gets the basket. Juan Tots, do another thought about him. Instead drives in, goes off the glass. Riley playing well here in half number two. I've got him at four threes. We've got to wait till the end of the game, evidently, for the uh, final numbers. Just the one stat sheet here in the uh, men's game. Not bad when they weren't scoring, but Riley, free throw up and in. He's got to be probably around 15 points. If you figure the four threes, that's uh, 12. Made free throw, that's 14. They have no two. We'll, uh, we'll get those numbers to you here. Oberson, uh, ball. In the uh, pass there was Michael Choke and Dawson back in possession. Choke, Kennedy Brown, screen on ball. Felton, they're going to listen in. Good call. The uh, foul will be on Feldman. Timeout on the uh, floor. Timeout on the radio. Thank you to our game day sponsor. We're back in one minute. For shows up on game day. This is Rocky Erickson for HKT. I'm impressed with their commitment. They understand teamwork and suit up with a very impressive roster of their own. Chevrolet and Buick, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. A commitment to excellence, locally owned and operated, in service to the big sky. HKT, car sales, service, and repair in Glendine. Show them your support. It's game day, and what do you and the family want to eat? Why not try some New York-style pizza straight from Monte Carlo? With fresh sauce and dough made daily, put in an order for a local favorite, Glendive Carnival. Or you can select from our many choices and even build your own pizza. Order online at ordermonte.com. Call and place your order at 377-1200. Or stop in at 121 North Maryland for dine-in and carry-out options. And get your slice of Italy today. Well, the two teams are back on the floor. The deep shot's coming here for Dawson in half number two. Riley Spoon on her. Uh, looking at his high uh, possibly tonight. Here he goes again, three-pointer. That's over the top, completely over the top. Rebounded by Brown. Now Spoon on her into Michael Choke. Inside, no harm, no foul. They're gonna call a blocking foul and one. It was the side referee, the lower ref. I think uh, may have missed one there. The uh, head coach rightfully so asking what just happened. But it'll go for Dawson, so Michael Choke to the uh, one and one now. Well, it's the uh, one only. It's the free throw following the made basket and one. The uh, basket didn't go. And here comes Lake Region. James Somar. Well, run down. Headings guard. Feltman screams on ball. Headings guard. Puts the uh, three up all out of bounds. And it'll be Michael Chulk inbounding for Dawson. 6.09 to go here in the ball game. Dawson, good ball game. 53-47. Hope you're enjoying the uh, broadcast tonight. Here comes Jawan Tott. Spoon under with 17, five three-pointers in the ball game. Reggie Martin, ball with it now, Spoon under. They have a five of six. Corner shot, three-pointer on the way, no. By Reggie Martin, rebounded by Cresso. And uh, Brody sends it to the outlet, Dawson. But led by Spoon Hunter with 17, Brown with 12, Evans with the uh, ball, Kressel with the 11 for Lake Region. Inside shot by Evans, no good. Somehow Michael Cho muscles his way through, gets the uh, rebound, Spoon Hunter. Law pass over now. Martin thought about it, he's in the corner on the right side. Jim Dorentry 
And Dawson's going to slow it down. 5 13, 6 point lead for the Bucks. They play from behind to start down by 8 to 2. Dawson's went up by as many as 10. He had a 12 2 run, 3 seconds. Reggie Martin, uh oh, ball is loose. Spoonhunter's going to get it off. No, it doesn't go. Luckily, just got it before the uh, buzzer. And here come the Royals. Near in the uh, top of the hour. Cresso, Brody has it. Henning's guard. Got a uh, reach in. Nine o'clock Mountain, 10 o'clock Central, wherever you're at, uh, it's top of the hour. You're listening to Buccaneer Basketball. On the amazing AM, we are KXGN, 1400 AM and 103.1 FM. Hope you're enjoying the play-by-play. -play. We're in Glendale. Evans. Puts the uh, free throw up and in. Subs in here. Jalen Todd, again playing with four fouls. Charles Lanton in. And also Stinson. So those are the three in. Joan Todd and Spoon under stay in. Evan free throw up and in. Down to a four point lead, 53 49. Free throws. They've gone well here. They're 78%, 15 and 19. Uh, prior to that, it's a man. No whistle. Spoon Hunter drives in, goes up. Block shot, good hands in there. Swat now was Presso. Dawson saves it. Lampton underneath the hoop. Puts it up and puts it in. I think Charles was literally behind the basket. It reaches his long arm out. He got it to go. Ball taken away between. Stinson and Lampton, not sure who they're going to credit, but Dawson takes it back. 55 49. Jalen Tott. That'll play a little uh, in the corner. Charles now underneath. Charles Evans, good defense on him. Stinson may have been a hook. Shot, yeah, Stinson. Cordell gets one to go. Let's see where he's at. He had a. Uh, Few more free throw here. I think he's got five in the ball game. Inside, bump. Uh, there is a there by Newburn. Thinks he's going to run out and they're going to call. Finally reaching so much. And we got a lot of free throws, I think, <laughs> in the uh, end of this. 57 49. To the line goes Cordell Stinson. We talked about uh, him having the uh, free throw in the basket. Cordell at the line for Dawson. Cordell had five last day on five rebounds. First. On the pair is up and in. Cordell, eight assists on the year, six steals into the game. Rebound nicely for Newburn. And we'll see what the uh, offense gets going for Lake Region. Lady Buccaneers win earlier tonight. Final in that game, 79-46. So they take another win on the uh, road to the Williston Gymnasium. Inside, traveling with basketball in so 58-49 now. Kel Shore checks in. Michael Choke also comes in. So Michael Choke comes in. Kel Shores comes in. If you're just tuning in, you got a uh, good finish. Still nine points. Anybody's game with three minutes left. Ball oh, taken away. We're going to have an open dunk for Newburn up. And uh, Newburn gets the uh, two handed slam. Other side, Jalen Todd. Michael Cho, back to Tot. Tot drives baseline. In traffic there, stopped at the baseline. Two defenders. And then a probably on Jim Somar. Now they're called Cressel Brody's and third. Checking in for Evans, sits down. And uh, who else comes in? Checking in, both Feltman. And uh, Dressel. 
Jawan Tott, free throw one, up and in. We're in double bonus after the foul there. That was a one and one. But Jawan drops the first, second one. Nope, no good. Rebound Kressel. He goes to low. Here comes the, uh, no, that's not low. Excuse me, that's Newberg. Kressel. Hennings guard. Lake Region Brody's leading scoring. He's got 11. Hennings guard at a uh, three. Uh, three at four at the free throw line. Nine seconds. Dawson's defense looking good here in the uh, latter part of this one. Jawan Todd. Behind the back to the hoop, attack. Wide open, right side, three-pointer, rattles the rim. Michael Choke, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. 51-62, Dawson takes it to an 11-point lead. And Stinson's gonna be caught there. I'll tell you what, Ed Bule on the bench, hopping around, he's got a cast on the boot on his left foot, so he may be out for a while here. Coach Joe talked last night about his injury. Newburn at the line for uh, Lake Region. It is a double bonus, that's the 10th uh, foul. So you gotta make one to get one. And you earn your way here. Breezo has been going well. The uh, statue here at 79%. Missed the first. Out goes Holderson. In comes Evans. Trace Evans checks in for. Haven't seen any any play here. And uh, Dawson by ten. Here comes Jawan Todd. Drives all the way baseline. Kicks it over to Spoon on her left corner. Three ball. Michael Choke. No good. And uh, Lake Region comes up floor. Eddings guard stopped. They say he didn't uh, travel there. Right? I'll go with it. Newburn, Lou Somar, Evan. Eddings guard puts one up from outside. Three corner right side towards the uh, Lake Region bench. And it's 62 55. A minute to go. They're going to have to start going for the ball. Stinson pass around, keep away. Riley says, I want another one. No good. All those loose run, running it down as Cressel Brody. Under a minute to go. Three ball top. Oh, he got it to go. Newburn. And all of a sudden, folks, it's a four point game. 62 58. Will they, will they uh, go for the foul here? 41 seconds. 21. Dawson's the call. So this is where they slow it down. Dawson, Spoon Hunter, Michael Choke. Only a two possession ball game. There is the foul. And again, we're in double bonus. Four point game. Good foul on uh, Somar. Jane fouls out. And Overson checks in. Felton also came in. And Michael Choke to the line for Dawson. Michael. Well, he's got the first one. Sinks that. Who checks in? Jalen Todd and Riley Spoonhunter. Timeout on the floor. Dawson uh, 63, Lake Region 58. Timeout. We're back in one minute. It's somewhere new. What lies ahead may be unknown, but we're headed there together. We'll be the steady, sure guide leading you forward, rooted, resilient, rising to the challenge. Because we are American. Banking, trust, and insurance. 
from the bathroom to the boardroom. Boss offers a complete line of products to keep business running efficiently and cost effectively. Boss Office Products is excited to earn the right to be your single source choice for office supplies and furniture, cleaning supplies, commercial copiers, quick printing, promotional items, copier service and more. In store, online, on site, by fax or Facebook. Excited to hear from you and looking forward to being the best possible partner we can be. Team Boss. Well, good night for Riley Spoon Hunter. That number is 17 right now. We'll have the final numbers here in a minute, but Riley Spoon Hunter on five three pointers. He's already had two games of 17. He had the all play lead scoring against United Tribes at United Tribes. That game he had 17 with to the six threes. And he gets Bismarck. Choke knocks down the uh, free throw. He had 17 as uh, well at Bismarck. And uh, here comes Lake Region down by six. Having trouble with the backboard. Hennings guard gives it to Newburn who just nailed the three. Left side, three pointer, no good. Through down Charles Lamps and that foul probably do it. They're going to foul. But uh, may be a bit late here. 64 58. Michael. Goes the uh, other side of the floor, and you'll have a free throw. Well, it, it, it has been a fun night here at Dawson, 64-58. Michael Choke back to the line. Double bonus. So let's just add a little crossing. Up and in. Charles walks in, tells him, good job. Next one, up and in. Going on eight point lead now, and Henning's guard will run up the floor, pass over Newburn, just made a three, gets another one. Are they going to foul? Yeah, they're going to. Now they're going to. Well, the uh, Bucks will go after more free throws. 66 61, two seconds to go, so. It uh, looks like Dawson men will get another win here and uh, defend their uh, conference with another win on uh, two games here with Lake Region. First free throw by Michael this time. He was just there, made them both. See what he can do here. Got it. So what was a two uh, possession game inbound. Newburn, three-pointer. Yes, he got it. So Newburn gets a, a couple of threes, but it won't matter. But a good ball game, 67.